Understanding Verdict, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss, the word, verdict. Whether you've heard it in a legal drama, read it in a newspaper, or come across it in a book, it's a word that carries a lot of weight and significance. So, let's dive in and understand what, verdict, truly means and how you can use it in your everyday English conversations. A, verdict, is a noun, and it refers to a decision made by a jury in a court of law. This decision is about whether the person on trial is guilty or not guilty of the crime they are accused of. However, verdict can also be used more generally to describe any decision or conclusion that resolves a question or uncertainty. Examples, the jury delivered a guilty verdict. After much deliberation, her friends gave their verdict on her new dress. They loved it. Now that we understand what verdict means, let's see how we can use it in different types of sentences. Positive sentence. The judge accepted the jury's verdict. Negative sentence. The accused is hoping that the jury will not reach a guilty verdict. Question. What was the verdict of the trial? Verdict is used in some common English expressions. Here are a few of them. Awaiting the verdict, waiting for a decision or conclusion, deliver a verdict, to give a decision, overturn a verdict, to change a previous decision, usually in a legal context. Understanding synonyms can help enrich your vocabulary. Here are some synonyms for verdict, decision, judgment, ruling, determination, And that wraps up our discussion on the word, verdict. I hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage for you. Remember, understanding these legal terms can not only help you in academic and professional settings but also improve your overall English comprehension skills. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.